Okay, this is my new Pioneer 9000 BTU mini split I purchased off of eBay. It got delivered today. This one is going to go into my bedroom. I already purchased a Senville for my living room and it works pretty good, so this is definitely going to be nice. It's a mini split, as you can see. It looks like it came okay, but one thing that's kind of strange is this. It's got some wires sticking out, and it's been taped over, and it's got a staple there. I don't know why they would um, pack it like that. It doesn't look like it has been opened. It came in three pieces. Down here is the um, line set. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And got the indoor handler up here and the outdoor unit. So, it looks like it's all right. I just want to make sure I um, video that cable, those wires. That is really strange. But yeah, it got delivered all right by the um, shipping company. I got it from High Sear, which is in Florida, Miami, Florida. And um, it took about, I don't know, about five, five, or five or six days for it to show up from Florida. I'm on the West Coast, so that's not too bad. But this um, unit is supposedly a pretty good unit. It has good reviews on Amazon about it. So that's why I decided to go with this unit. Also about this unit, it comes with the wiring harness to go from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. On this one up here, this Senville, I had to make my own wiring harness to go from the indoor to the outdoor, which was really a pain. It takes a four wire setup, and this one is already complete, so it's going to make this setup a lot easier. This is a 15 sear, and this is only 110 volt, not 220. I decided to go with the 110. Um, for the simple reason, if my electricity ever goes out in the summertime, I could hook my generator up and run this off my generator at night to keep my room cool. Because when it's over 100 degrees at night, it's impossible to get to sleep. So this will keep my bedroom nice and cool. So I'll do an unboxing of it, and I'll do a video of it unboxed, and I'll show it to everybody. Okay, I got the um, air conditioner unboxed. Didn't take too long. This is the outdoor unit. As you can see, it's a 15 sear, 110 voltage. And it'll plug into a regular household um, outlet. It says maybe you need to have it dedicated, but um, I'm just gonna plug it in to one of my outdoor sockets, and it should work. But it came with the outdoor unit. Looks like it made it in one piece. A separate box here had the line set in there. This is a 10 foot line set. The indoor air handler it looks pretty nice. Nice looking um, unit. It's got the center light it says defrost and the light will tell you what it's doing. This is an inverter so it should save money when I'm running it. It came with um, quite a bit of accessories actually. My um, Sinville didn't come with the remote control holder. Screw that into the wall somewhere. It's got four rubber feet for the outdoor unit. Um, it's got the cable from the indoor to the outdoor. This has an extra drain line. It had one in the box with the, um, with the line set and then it had another one in the other box. And it has here, this is the drain. It goes on the bottom of the unit down here somewhere. And you can hook your drain line to it. Oh, that must be, that's why it's got two. One of them goes for that drain, and the other one goes for the indoor unit to drain it. Even if your house is humid inside. Um, come with the, the sleeve for the house when you drill a hole through your house. Goes through there in this tape. And the wires that were sticking out of the box seem to be okay. There was no damage to them. Just a mistake on the guy who packed it, but it looks okay. And the air handler, oh yeah, it came with um, two filters for the indoor unit. 
and you can with the screws, the, the anchors, come with the batteries, this putty, it's got the plastic putty, and it's really nice having these rubber feet for the outdoor unit, my other one didn't come with these. And so yeah, the outdoor unit looks pretty nice, I mean the indoor unit. It looks a little bit different from the one in the picture. It might be a newer model, but it is a 15 CR 110. And the outdoor unit, once again. Take a look on the outside of it. There. That's the unit. This um, air conditioner is going to be a lot easier to install than that one. Mainly because I already have the um, tools to install it. I had to order all these tools for this install and the other one, two benders and the, you name it, I had to order it for it. So I got everything I need. And plus, since this is 110, I don't have to have specialty wiring 220. So this is gonna be a lot easier. And like I said, the Senville didn't come with this cable. Didn't come with the cable from the indoor to the outdoor. So this is make it a lot easier. Okay, so that will wrap it up for this video. I'll probably go ahead and post this, then maybe tomorrow I will start to install. And I'll do a little bit more in-depth video of installing this than I did with my Senville. Okay, that's it for this one.